finally landed on one of the islands. We are in Namia from at New Caledonia. So we're waiting for our shuttle bus, which we paid the $63 Australian money one. And it's two hour and 30 minutes and we have, I think, three essential stops, which is like a church, a cabin site thingy. I didn't really read it because I didn't book it, but yeah. So we're going on that. And apparently it's not as squished as the other one, which was the cheaper one, which was like $20. So, and this one, we have a guide. The other one, they don't have a guide. So they're just like blindly kind of stopping at places that they don't really know if it's good or not. So that's why we paid a bit extra to get the better experience one. And yeah, let's hope it's good. And after that, apparently we, they stop us and leave us on the beach. So. Touch it. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. Got wood? <laughs> I'll make other wood. guys i just wanted to say that honestly the tour bus wasn't that great for me personally i fell asleep half the time and the only cool part about it for me was when i watched the locals do their dancing which was pretty cool but besides that i'd probably just stay at lemon bay which is um the beach side the whole day because of the bus tour, which was 2 hours and 30 minutes long, we could only stay less than an hour at Lemon Bay. And honestly, that was the highlight of the day. I enjoyed that so much more. Me and my brother, we were swimming to, I think it was like a platform. And a whole bunch of the local kids were just jumping off the platform. We joined them. It was super fun, super cool. And save your money, save your time, and just enjoy the beach. Unless you really like tour buses, but for me, not worth it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye! <laughs>
Take care. See you, brother. See you, bro. Thank you guys for watching and next one. Bye. Now the battery died. Oh, did it? Uh,